Everything you said, we already knew, more or less. Well, here's something that you didn't know. Two of those special atomic bombs haven't gone off. Hey, welcome back guys, it's Carter. Thanks for tuning in. Took a few days off, had to do some traveling. Still out of town, I'm actually out of town until Friday, but I'm gonna try to bring a couple of videos to you. And looking at tonight, I went through the email, went through a couple issues, and it's kind of formed my next few videos. There's just tons of people, it looks like, having trouble with their 1060s, 1070s, 1080s when it comes to getting like two and a half mega hash and you know we've gave a few different things to try to fix on that but what I think we what we can do to help everybody is even though we did a full walkthrough kind of end-to-end -end build you know earlier last week with an ethereum rig building the actual rig putting the motherboard on there we kind of shortchanged you guys by having the OS kind of already built and ready to go and with that coming right out of the gate and working, I think that kind of, you know, did not show you guys on how that kind of build works and to give you guys the confidence. So what I'm going to be doing is putting a fresh install of Windows together, no updates, unplug from the network, you know, that way I know it doesn't get any updates, and then kind of walk that. We're going to put a card in there, we're going to see if we can get that replicated issue with the 2.5 mega hash, and then we're going to walk you guys through it. It's going to be a whole... I don't know if we're going to do a live live show. We'll probably do a live show. Yeah, we'll actually do a live show um, of that. That way you guys can see it just unedited. Just walk through the issues kind of like I've done for some of the other videos to give you all kind of confidence of how we get that fixed. Um, I think that'll help solve and then it'll allow you and your friends and anybody else doing this kind of a one-stop shop to go to that video and say, okay, I'm having this issue with these cards. It doesn't matter which brand, which package, any of that kind of stuff. I'm getting questions across the board. It's from the Zotax to the MSIs to the gigabytes. It does not matter. And it doesn't even matter on the 1060s, 1070s, 1080s, 1080 Ti's. Everybody that's having this kind of issue is getting it across the board. So uh, between the CUDA version, the uh, Claymore latest driver, and Windows updates is how you fix it. But we're going to walk you through that step in that video i think you'll like it uh, another follow-up we're going to go ahead and show you guys kind of what the impact of the heavy you know increase with everybody coming into mining um, i'm going to show a quick chart here and as you guys are looking at this you'll see here in early march actual difficulty of ethereum blockchain was about 160 on march 3rd in the difficulty and then you look at roughly may 15th you know it's more than double that at 414 and now on june 19th the uh, drop of this video we're sitting here at 775 and what does this mean to you if you don't know the ethereum network so if you're not familiar with the way the ethereum blockchain works at the end of the day, you really don't have to know the technical details if you're just mining or plugged in, but you do have to understand the network effects essentially. So essentially from the stuff that you were doing like in the beginning of March versus now, it's a roughly, it takes, it's not a direct correlation of seven times longer, but if you had a 185 mega hash rig in March, uh, you were essentially pulling out a coin every couple days. Now you're looking at almost seven days. So it wasn't a total seven times factoring, but it's a, uh, a significance, more than double um, of the length of time that it would take you to earn enough credits or shares to earn a coin. So that's part of part and parcel of why if you got into building a rig just in the last few weeks of like, you're like, man, this, this calculator was off. What's, what's going on here is literally every day this thing's jumping up, not two times factor, but over the last few months, it's been about a two times, three times factoring on, you know, just the difficulty increase. And as more cards and more, if NVIDIA puts out their card, um, and I've seen some early reports saying it's 60 mega hash. I don't know if that's confirmed or not, um, but you start looking at that, it just increases it more. Now, how to counter that is to, you know, 
you got Zcash, you got other coins right now that necessarily do not have that same exponential growth. Zcash is pretty close to this exponential growth, but SciCoin, um, Library, Decred, all those different, you, there's a lot of other coins out there too that you can point your hash rate to. Use nice hash, kind of switches between uh, the best out there just to try to get your ROI back out of it. And then you got your, your long-term investors that are you know, not really looking at the day to day and looking at the more long term on it. Meaning, you know, if you were a person that was mining in, let's say, July six, July of 16 through, you know, December of 16, Ethereum wasn't worth a ton and you're actually barely making enough to pay for your power, especially with some of the cards that folks were using at that time, which are like R9390s and stuff that were using a six card rig of those was using almost 1600 watts power. So, you know, sometimes even if there's not as much, it's all predicated on price. So I wouldn't want to discourage anybody. I mean, if you want to get in this, do the research. Everything's an investment. It's a, you know, it's a risk just like anything else. That's why we, you know, go with mining hardware such as GPU and graphics cards because it is a hedge. At the end of the day, it's a hedge. There's another market for those products uh, that if you wanted to divest over it over a period of time, you can. You will take a depreciation hit if you do it right away, and over time they they kind of level off. You know, especially with the higher end cards. I mean, you buy a four hundred dollar high end card, and a year from now it's definitely worth around two hundred bucks, hundred eighty dollars in the secondary market. So, your depreciation is usually anywhere from fifty to sixty percent over the first year. Now, obviously, the whole market floods with it, then there's gonna be a lot of happy gamers because, you know, some people if they want their money out of it, it's gonna pull you know hundred dollars for a graphics card or something crazy, but. Um, you know, you never know what the next coin's gonna do and the proof of work too. I mean, if you look at some of the latest uh, stuff that's been coming out on eBay and stuff, I mean, people being able to sell their 290Xs and, you know, the 280s and all these things at almost retail prices of when they first came out. So, you know, Ethereum's the hot ticket right now to mine the same with the Zcash, but, you know, the next stages, we're in like 2.0 in the blockchain world right now. You know, the Ethereum and Zcash and some of these other coins that are coming out through some of the ICOs. It's like 2.0. So that next 3.0, if they continue to do proof of work, that's a you know big question if they're going to do that. But some of that early intrinsic market penetration with getting folks excited and a lot of folks into it is giving an opportunity for a lot of people to mine it. Um, so it, it the, the cost of the... Structure is already out there, meaning there's a lot of mining folks out there. And to build a coin that's proof of work, there's a level of incentive because you're going to have an immediate adoption. You know, just you, if the coin is built out there and it has a purpose and it has value and people see that value and it happens to be proof of work, there's going to be some of that hash power that will move over there. So this has been a continuation since proof of work for Bitcoin since 2011. So if you have mining hardware, it's one of those things that, you know, we're trying to show the technical details of how to put a rig together, not getting so much in this, you know, the statistical analysis or what the best coin is to mine or any of that kind of stuff. I usually let a lot of other YouTubers kind of focus on that. I mean, most of our stuff is kind of just the big, you know, the Ethereum's, the the top like five or six coins that you do proof of work on essentially is what we point a lot of our hash power to. But um, trying to make sure people understand on how to get a rig set up is really kind of our purpose, um, not necessarily to give you guys financial advice or anything like that. Um, but, um, you know, stay tuned, get in a room random call that's the wifey she wants to talk uh, I'm gonna get off here and uh, stay tuned and we'll catch you guys later